Hello everyone! How are you? It's Kei. So this is the 27th of September 2022 on Tuesday and this is right now at 7 a.m. UTC and here in Dubai it's uh, 11 a.m. here locally in Dubai time. So uh, yeah, in this video first uh, I will do the analysis in the markets and then uh, well, I already checked these uh, markets already and uh, I found that they, these are ranging but I will do the screening anyways and uh, just give, give my impressions about the markets and then uh, since they are all ranging I was thinking what to talk about and today I will talk about my trade which I hold it over the weekend uh, last weekend and closed my trades yesterday so that will be the topic on this video as well. So first, let me switch screen. And um, start the screen charts. Oh, by the way, this uh, KTS community is around the corner and uh, it's almost ready, almost ready. I'm just doing the final touch and uh, just, um, just making sure that everything's working okay. And once it's ready, for sure, then I will let everyone know. So uh, please look forward to it. This is different from my Ichimoku community because Ichimoku community is more focused on the um, Ichimoku original teachings from the original books like wave analysis and time and price theory plus um, Kyushu Ashi and five lines of Ichimoku. But KTS community is my own strategy. So, including risk management and psychology management and how to enter exit by the five minute. So this is the new community here. So again, once I launch it, I will let you know. So uh, please look forward to it. So now uh, let me switch to, to a trading view. So um, again, I did the screening charts on all these markets, including gold, but looks like today the markets are retracing. About the Euro USD, uh, yesterday I posted on this uh, trading view, hold on, let me refresh. On trading view I posted the analysis because uh, they were all, I mean it was retracing because of this uh, Thinkmo on the weekly. Sorry, uh, let me switch to the weekly on the left and daily on the right. So um, weekly Euro USD is looking good. Still, this is downtrending in overall because uh, Kumo's uh, has been downtrending, Kijun Sen is down, and the market has been resisted by this trend line and Chikou Span below candles. So weekly is down, but if you check that daily time frame, it's retracing and ranging now. In fact, uh, this uh, Kumo Senkospan BA angles, also Kijun Sen angle, are flat. So that means the market is retracing. Or that means the buyers and sellers' power balance is now 50 50. So the market may retrace back to either Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen on a daily. But overall, weekly is down. So still, there's a chance that the market breaks the support. The the low on this uh, daily chart, which is 0 0.5, sorry, 0 0.9554 and continuously bearish. But um, since this is now 50-50 chance, I'm kind of away from the charts right now. So overall downtrending, but now it's ranging is what's happening on the Euro USD. And uh, so yeah, since this is uh, on the weekday, I will screen charts by the daily on the left and 4 hour on the right. So uh, yeah, Euro AUD is flat in both time frames and uh, yeah, Euro GBP went up all the way and now it's retracing today. Well actually it retraced yesterday and today is ranging so no chance. Euro JPY is retracing back, Euro CAD is ranging. Euro Swiss franc is uh, also ranging now. Euro JPY is uh, about to break the resistance, but on the daily is ranging. 
So I think it takes time for the market to break the resistance of 145.91. So I'm still away from the chart. UCCAD is retracing back today. And the daily chart shows it's engulfing inside bar. So within the inside bar like this, the market may continuously range. So overall is bullish. But uh, for the last four days, so, sorry, for the last four candles in a four hour is currently retracing. So this engulfing candlestick means that the, uh, this big bullish bars high and low is including four future candles. So this is called inside bar. And inside is a typical range market. So for the last four, uh, for the last four candles in four hour, uh, it's been bearish but um, it may turn bullish anytime, or range, basically. So that means even if you sell right now, you might not be able to get the profit quickly and smoothly. And if you buy also, the market may range, and you may not be able to make that much profit. So yeah, that's why I'm away from the chart. And the USD CIS franc is, uh, yeah, this one is also retracing in a four hour. It broke the daily resistance, but now today is retracing. So I'm still waiting for the market to point up, to go up in a four hour to look for the buy chance. And the GPP USD is retracing back today, and GPP JPY is the same case. GPP CAD is also retracing. Yeah, weekly uh, GBP CAD was very thin. So that's why I mentioned that the market may reverse. And if you check this uh, yesterday's candlestick, this was a doji candle with a huge, huge um, wicks up and down. So most likely when we have this big uh, doji candlestick, then from next day onwards, the market tends to range because buyers and sellers are exhausted by this yesterday's candlestick. So most likely it ranges until the market moves towards either direction. So I'm simply waiting for the four hour to trend again, but I think the next trend will happen a couple of days later. GPP AUD is ranging, GPP CIS franc is ranging too. All the GPP pairs if you check the daily chart, we have the similar uh, candlestick yesterday. So I think GPP pairs will be ranging for some time. Uh, AUD pairs, AUD USD is uh, still bearish, but now it's retracing. AUD CAD is retracing too. AUD JPY is now in the range. Yeah, four hour is bearish, so. I'm, I'm waiting for the Kumo Kijun Sen down in a four hour to sell uh, or uh, wait for the Kumo breakout on the daily and wait for the four hour downtrend by Kumo Kijun Sen and sell. So today, right now, at this uh, 7 a.m. ETC time zone, um, I'm still away from the chart. ADC's franc is ranging, CAT JPY is ranging too. CAC franc is ranging and CIS franc JPY is also ranging. So let me now move on to gold, XAUUSD. XAUUSD is down on the daily but retracing back in the 4 hour. So I'm waiting for the 4 hour to point down. And 4 hour Kumo Kijun Sen will point down in 1, 2, 3, 4, in, in 5 candles in a 4 hour. So five candles in a full hour means 20 hours ahead. So tomorrow, I will come back to gold. And when Kijun Sen down and Kumo down also, I start to look for the setting edge. So within the next 20, 20 hours in a full hour, the market may retrace back to Kijun Sen or it may range. So we'll see. Um, Kumo is down. Kumo Sen Kospan B is down. So which is good. So I'm just waiting for the Kijun Sen angle to be bearish, which happens again in 20 hours later, and look for the setting edge. So for now, I stay away from this one. 
And WTI is uh, also downtrending, but it's just retracing back today. So like this, we have all the markets ranging, basically. Uh, let me quickly also mention about the Bitcoin, because I know there are some crypto traders here. So BTC USD uh, spiked up today. Um, yeah, because uh, it, it's, uh, it's a weak USD, I think. So the market just broke the Kumo in the four hour and it looks like it's heading back to the daily Kijun Sen. So this is still ranging overall and or a bit downtrending on the weekly because this is still on the descending P wave on the weekly. So, but the, but the market may retrace back to Kijun Sen or the trend line or the Kumo on the daily and it continuously goes down is my view. So if this were Forex, I would st still stay away because uh, we, we will never know which way it goes. Still, this is downtrend. So if I look for, when I look for the trading edge in this kind of situation, I wait for the trend line breakout to buy or support level breakout to sell. In between, I stay away because most likely the market spikes. So that's the BTC USD today. So again, like this, uh, I have no chance trading, no trading edges to talk about. So I guess I will talk about my trade, which I took and hold it over the weekend. So let me switch to Discord. And uh, so here is a Discord group. And yeah, this is a GTS Discord group. And I posted my trade here. So, um, yeah, last week uh, I took the trade on the Euro GBP on the, um, on the uh, 23rd of September. I took the buy at uh, 2.20 p.m. UTC. I took the buy, so this is a uh, Euro pound. On the upper, upper right is a daily, uh, lower right is one hour, and on the left is a five minute. I took the trade buy on a 0.8867 and stop loss placed on 0.8826. So took the stop loss of 40 pips below the previous low in the five and took that trade. I found the market was going up. It broke the resistance and band walking. So band walking means the price in between the Bollinger Bands division one and two. Well, when I took the trade, the price was extended above the deviation too, but still this is called band walking, so that the probability for the market to go up continuously was relatively higher. So that's one of the confirmations. Also, stochastic gold cross was happening, which was also the second confirmation. And I took these, uh, I found multiple confirmations here, so I took the trade. So um, I took the trade on uh, 0 0.8867. One thing I was a bit worried about the one hour situation. Because if you check the one hour, especially Kumo, Kumo is very thin. So I thought the market retraces. But with that in mind, I took the, I took the buy. So if the market reversed, I was thinking to exit. So I closely monitored the chart after I place the buy position here. Um, and at that time of screening charts, Euro pound was the only pair that has the trading edge, the tra a trading um, a chance, trading opportunity with my strategy, with my confirmations on M5. And that's why simply I took the Euro pound. I found, uh, I found another pound pairs were trending at that time but simply I took this one because I found the confirmations to buy. So anyways, um, so that was my trade I took. And uh, so I mentioned Kumo was looking thin, so the market could have retraced. So that was my comment. And then later on, the market actually went towards my direction. It broke the resistance in the five and it kept going up. So I moved the stop loss to break even at that timing. When I, and when I had the running pips of 30 pips, that's when I moved the stop loss to break even. And then um, after a while, I come back to chart. 
So I was here. Sorry, I was, I think I was, uh, yeah, I was here when I set the break even line. And this is the screenshot when I came back to chart next time. So I left the chart at um, like uh, 5.30 or 5.35, uh, I think, 5.35 uh, p.m. I set the break even and then I came back to chart at almost like uh, 2, sorry, almost uh, 9.30 p.m. So 5.30, I set the break even and 9.30, I came back. So I left the chart for four hours. And for the, for the next four hours, I found this situation. I took the screenshot after I moved the stop loss. So here, I see that the market pushback was happening here. And afterwards, it broke the resistance. So I moved one of the stop losses on 0 0.8889 level and fixed the profit. This was my entries. These blue lines were my entries and I put one of the stop losses here and the second stop loss I set, still keep at the break even. Um, so this was a screenshot. So usually I take two positions at one time and one trade I take two positions and trail in two different time frames like this way. So this was yeah four hours later and uh, I think this is also another um, screenshot before I go to bed. Yeah, before going to bed, I found the market was running 50 pips, floating profit of 50 pips, and this was a Friday night. So I moved one of the stop losses slightly below the W bottom in the 5. You see these two supports and dojis. Or dojis for there. So these are two supports in W bottom. I took, I moved a stop loss here, and another stop loss. I moved it to the the first pushback in the five. 0 0.8886 and 0 0.8901, 0 0.02. So I fixed the first stop loss, 34 pips, and another stop loss, 19 pips for profit and went to bed and uh, hold it over the weekend. So that was my trade. So my rule to, over, to hold over the weekend is that the, um, if I have running pips of at least 30 pips, and then um, of course I have to set the break even line, and uh, then I uh, hold over the weekend. If I only run, let's say 10 pips or 20 pips, then most likely I fix a profit and then I uh, simply spend over the weekend without any trace. So this is uh, my example of how I hold the trade over the weekend. And then um, I came back to chart on Monday and I found, so here, uh, yeah, on Monday, yesterday, in the morning time, I had to go to bank, so I didn't have time to check charts. So I came back to home at uh, 12 p.m. and found this situation. So, um, and I moved the stop losses. One of the stop losses, I moved above 135 pips, which was 0 0.9000. So here, this the, the first blue one is 135 pips of profit fix and another one uh, I put the stop loss on 0 0.8953 which was 86 pips of profit here and then left the chart because higher time frame was still bullish so 5 minute this is in the 5 minute 5 minute shows double top and neckline breakout so it's bearish but since higher time frame is still bullish I decided to keep holding because the market may have gone up after this. And I have enough profit already, 135 and 89, so this is a good trade for me. So right now, floating profit was, you can see here, uh, 184 pips, 184 pips on two trades, but uh, I kept holding that like this. And after that, 
the market went back, went down uh, towards my stop losses and fixed those profits, 135 and 89 pips. And that was my result. So here is a psychology. Uh, when, you th when you look at this market and when you fix the profits here and here, do you feel you lost all these potential pips? If you feel that, then uh, you better stop it because my, my philosophy or my rule is that unless you fix the profit, it's not there yet. And the cons about the charts is that you can actually see the previous charts, previous market, you can actually see it. Uh, and so that means you, you can actually see how far the market was up until you fix the profit, until you see the, com you see the charts coming down like this as of now. And this, is, this actually affects psychology sometimes because you might wonder, so if you have fixed the profit here in this chart, in, in my trade, if I have fixed the profit here, then I would have fixed more than 300 pips, maybe 350 pips here in the profit. And I make like much more profit than fixing the profits here and here, right? But uh, that's like a delusion for you because you haven't fixed that profit here and based on the rules, we have to trade. So if these were your exit timings, then that's fine because you have some profits, you have over 100 profit here, 100 pips profit, and 89 pips of profit here. So this, these are a bigger trade, bigger profits. So I'm happy and you should be happy too. So I think that's I think the good lesson for everybody. And that's why also I wanted to share my trade. Uh, you know, sometimes you check the charts. Previously, you check the past charts. For example, on the trading view, let's say you check the past chart and let's say if you took the sell here on this breakout of the support, let's say, then you may have running pips of by now like a, like a 150 pips. So you should be happy, but you didn't execute the trade. And according to your own rules, this was not your entry timing. So this is like the delusion again. Uh, because simply you didn't take that. So don't think, don't look at the past charts and, this, and think about, uh, I wish I would have mindset. Also entry and exit timings, the same too. Like uh, let's say, let's say you took the sell here and you see the market as of now. So you may wonder if you have fixed the profit all the way down here, then that was more than 200 pips. But now because the market retracing back, I only have 129 pips of profit. So should I keep holding or exit? You may wonder like that too, but um, you didn't fix 200. Right now the reality is that you have 125 pips of running profit. So if this is your exit timing right now, then just exit. But if this is not your exit timing, then keep holding and wait until your exit timing comes in the market. So that's a discipline. We have to have rules, strategies with discipline in this way so that uh, you don't uh, have emotional stress or emotional uh, upset in psychology in that way. So again, I just wanted to say that the um, you know, uh, unless you fix things, it's still not there, still not there. Once you fix it, then it's there for you. So that's the correct mindset. And that was my biggest mistake before. I used to think, okay, the market was downtrending, and if I sell at the top and fix the profit at the bottom, then I could make, I could make all the pips here. But that was my delusion. And that's why I say I'm pretty happy to have this trade and fixed 89 pips and 135 pips of profit. 
so that I never lose in this way along my trace. So that was my talk about today. So again, thanks so much for watching the video today and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. So after this, this afternoon, I'm going to the beach which is called uh, Dubai Marina Beach and spend a day there, sp spend one night there like the vacation and come back home. So yeah, I'm thinking to take a video and share it on my second channel. So please also look forward to it too. So again, thanks for watching. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thanks so much.